we're gonna have some real talk. It's gonna have to be the way it is. So here we go. Are you ready? Networking is not for wimps. Now, you might think, I'm not a wimp. What are you talking to me for? Well, let me tell you something about networking. It is difficult. It is something you have to have perseverance for. It is a test of your will every single time you put yourself out there. And it is something that you have to practice and strive to be better at. <clears throat> so let's talk about why networking is not for wimps. First of all, if you're not an extrovert, which a lot of people aren't, even though they think that they are, or they think that they're, they try to be extroverts some of the time, or they might be like half and half, there's a lot of people, they're just not extroverts. They'd rather be home alone in their pajamas, and everybody leave them alone. And all of us feel like that sometimes. The thing about networking, though, is you have to put yourself out there every single time you step foot out the door. And whether you're walking into a luncheon or into a banquet full of people or you're just going to a coffee, it doesn't matter. You have to put on your most professional and best face. I'm not saying be fake. Networking is not about being fake. It's about being authentic and real. But you don't want people to see you as the sad sack who lost their dog and now everyone is sad for you. You want them to see you as, I'm here, I'm doing my business, my personal life may interfere at times, but most of the time I am here for business purposes. The other thing networking is not for wimps is, <clears throat> have you ever been to a networking event where the person had no confidence? Having confidence is key. When you don't feel confident or you don't look or act confident, people can test, they can just tell right away, right away. And it can really damage your chances of being their referral partner. I tell people to walk into a room confidently, like you own the room, even if you don't feel like it. And there's a lot of stock in that, that phrase of fake it till you make it. I'm not saying to be fake. Again, please don't think I'm saying that. But I'm telling you to put on that face. And the more you do that, the more you put that forward confidence or, um, you know, just that air of I can do this, then the more you will actually start to believe it yourself which will make you actually have the confidence. So make sure that you are, you know, walking confidently because whether you feel like confident or not, that's what people will see. The other thing about networking is not for wimps. I've seen so many people go to networking events and they'll leave and they'll go, I'll say, how was it? And they'll say, it was okay. I didn't get any cards. I didn't talk to anybody. <sighs> well, guess what? You have to do go and talk to people. And the whole point is not to get cards, it's to have conversations and to have relationship. So if you go into a room of 100 people and your goal is to pick up 100 cards, that's not right. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. That's not what you're there for. So don't be a wimp. Talk to three or four people. Have in-depth conversations with them. And then, I mentioned in a previous video, if you're a good follow-upper, you should be taking the cards and following up. If you're not a good follow-upper, you should be giving your card and then they will follow up with you. So, are you a wimp when it comes to networking? Do you think that people are going to like magically say, oh, let's do business together right now, let me buy from you? That's what vendor events are for, and that's what, after you've had a relationship with someone and you've met them at several events or you've talked with them multiple times, that is when they will say, all right, let's do business together. It does not come immediately. So, don't be a wimp. Don't think that everything's going to come easily to you through networking. It's hard work. It is something you have to persevere at. It is something you have to work hard at. It is something you have to be consistent with. So many people will tell me, well, networking doesn't work for my business. Networking doesn't work for me. And I'll say, well, why not? And their first response is, well, I did it a couple times and it just didn't work. Oh my gosh. A couple of times? You should watch my video on my story of networking. I networked three times a day, five times a week for a year. A whole year. It was really crazy. I'm not saying you have to do that, but it's not for wimps. You have to be out there. Maybe your job or your family don't allow you that time to do that. But if you can go to an event, be consistent. If you can only go to one event a month because of other commitments, then you need to make that your one event and you should not miss it. You have to go every single time that they open those doors to that event. 
Because if you don't, then that networking opportunity is wasted. If you cannot be there consistently for three to six months before you ask to speak, then that's not the right group for you. Maybe find another group that's a better time or a better fit, but make sure that you can be consistent. Again, networking is not for wimps. So if you have any of these things on this list, let's fix them. There's a couple other videos here about networking and how to solve some of the etiquette issues and also pitch and things like that. But just remember, networking is not for wimps. It's hard work. You have to persevere. You have to be consistent. You have to be polite. And you have to know your way around a networking event. You don't want to go and just say, hey, everybody, I'm here. My cards are on the table and then leave. I've had people do that, too. And no one ever picks up their card because they didn't feel a connection. They didn't have a relationship with that person. So make sure that you are definitely staying, sticking around for the relationships and making the connections for relationship, not just for the extra card you're going to get. 